I'm Mike Getman. I've helped hundreds of players go to college and over 50 players have made it to the professional level. With the coronavirus shutting down soccer team training, I want to give you some tips and ideas you can use to continue your training at home. All you need is a ball. We will post one activity each day. You can do them in just a few minutes or add them together to give yourself a skill and fitness workout. Today we're working on air skills. We will work on our passing technique with balls coming to us in the air. As the ball comes to you, turn your foot and knee to the side and keep your ankle locked as you make contact. Keep your knees bent and your eyes on the ball. Use both feet. A gentle two-handed toss is vital so each player can judge the flight of the ball. I like to use a cone to move around so you're forced to be on your toes and balance. Rather than standing still waiting for the ball, try to place the ball back into the server's hand. If you don't have a cone, use a shoe or other object. Today's air skill is in-step volleys. Similar to what we did yesterday, but keep your toe pointed down and your knee over the ball. Try not to reach for the ball, which makes it go up. Use left and right, and once you have the basics down, move around the cone. Today, we're working on receiving the ball with your thigh and volleying back. Stay on your toes as the ball arrives. Make gentle contact with your thigh and then volley back with your instep. Just like yesterday, keep your toe pointed down and your knee over the ball. Most players will find it easier to pop the ball up a little bit with their first touch. This is okay at the beginning, but as we get better control of the ball, we want to direct the ball down, not up, so we can play just a little bit quicker. Today's skill is a chest trap and volley back. As the ball arrives, cushion with your chest and then volley back using the inside of your foot. Try to gently guide the ball to your right and left as desired. Keep your ankle locked and firm as you play the ball back. As you get more comfortable, try to make your first touch go down rather than popping the ball up. At the highest levels of play, this extra half second is the difference between completing the pass and losing possession. 